the first part of the season was pretty rough, man. We had Michigan, we had Texas a and we had Florida, and we had Georgia. This next stretch, though, we have LSU, Alabama, and then we got at number one, Texas. So we have to win at least one of those games. If we win one of those games, then I guarantee we'll make it to a bowl game if we can beat the other lesser opponents on the schedule. So we have Penn, who, who's, I believe, a division. is an Ivy League school, so I don't believe that they're Division One. And we also have Portland State. They're not Division One either. So those are two winnable games, obviously. Then we have Arkansas State, and we have Oregon left on the schedule. So you see that the top two Heisman hopefuls, the running back from LSU Reed and the running back from Alabama. We got Alabama next week, but this week we have to focus on number seven, LSU. Now we have only beaten one ranked opponent in school history. And that was Wake Forest, now ranked number 24 in the country. This is number 7, LSU. This is SEC. This is Louisiana State. This is they don't play, man. This is the Honey Badger. This is Patrick Peterson. This is Kevin Falk. This is a whole bunch of playmakers that come from LSU. Anyways, man, Campbell going to drop back to pass. going to go up top to Spicer and Fabian Spicer with a big-time catch to kick off the ball game. Look at this. It's going up over two defenders. Is this matter 16? My goodness. We're going to go with Thompson. Look at Richie Thompson with that speed. The fastest player on the team, so you know we have to get him more involved. Second and 11 play action pass Campbell with time takes a shot deep to the end zone and that pass will fall incomplete third and 11 now Campbell with time Campbell he's gonna stop pop over the middle Gilmore with a beautiful catch let's go this drive is starting off perfectly a perfect start to this ball game versus number seven LSU Campbell is gonna take it himself gonna pitch it downfield to Chris Cooper and Cooper is gonna get brought down after a gain of nine now on second and one second and one excuse me Campbell he's gonna roll on out can he get something going yes he will pick up the first down move those chains for SAU Cooper gonna bounce it to the outside he's gonna get brought down by Moore Moore and Bryce Bracey these are the two inside linebackers these guys are straight studs it's going to be fun to watch these guys go at it. Campbell's going to get sacked, and that's going to set up fourth and goal. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So SAU takes a early 3 nothing lead, but here comes their quarterback, and here comes LSU. They give the ball to Reed, the Heisman hopeful, and he goes nowhere. If we can shut him down, that's going to be big for us. He gets away from Bracey, but my man Lee from the cornerback position is there to bring him down. Now Reese over the middle and that pass will get deflected and then intercepted by Jesse Graham. Do your dance, son. Do your dance. We got this thing going back the other way. Richie Thompson trying to get around the outside and there goes Moore who forces the fumble and then Royal jumps on top of it and that's going to result in a fumble forced by LSU and a fumble recovery by LSU. There goes Moore, the inside linebacker for LSU, forcing that ball up out of there. So they're going to go, I, I got with Reed, but Reed puts it on the turf and we jump on the ball just like that. Back to back to back turnovers and we are going to take right back over. First and 10 from the 36 yard line. Chris Cooper going nowhere. I know that our running game was working so well versus Miami of Ohio, but that's Miami of Ohio. That's not a front seven from the SEC. So running the ball this game might not be as graceful as it was last game. Third and 15 now after the sack. Campbell looking, taking the shot deep to Spicer in double coverage. He can't get his hands on it, and we're forced to punt. Reese looking, Reese throwing, and that pass was ugly. Third down, Reese on third and five. Finders went over the middle, but get, get, get that thing about it there number two in your program number one in your heart Lee is there to knock that thing away Gilmore over the middle makes a tough catch soon as the ball got there he got hit but he holds on to it Richie Thompson using that speed ain't working versus LSU defense John back the pass we're gonna find Fabian Spicer on third and three move those chains let's go second and ten we're gonna give the ball to Eric Dickinson your namesake will be disappointed in you with that run anyways man second and 13 now Campbell rolling out Campbell what you got for me gonna stop going pop gonna find Spicer but he can't hang on to it and we were forced to punt the ball right back to LSU but there goes Bracey 
my man Brace, best middle linebacker in the country, if you had to ask me. Reese, he's going to drop back the pass. Or excuse me, Reese will drop back the pass, and Reese, he's going to pick up nothing as that pass is dropped. So it's third and long, taking the shot over the middle. That's caught, but it's well short of the first down marker, and it's still a 3 nothing ball game. Campbell going to roll out to the outside, going to find Gilmore, who makes another catch in traffic. Move those chains for the Bulls. SAU is doing its thing. Chris Cooper trying to bounce it to the outside, and again, this front serve from LA. This shoot is stingy to say the least. Second and 15, Campbell with time takes a shot deep to Gilmore. And whenever we throw the ball up, it seems like there are two Tiger defenders there to knock it away. We, we do a play action pass, not the best play action pass decision right there, but it, you cannot audible out of a play action pass. Excuse me, you cannot hot route the running back's play action pass. If he's designed to go for the ball fake, then that's what you have to do in NCAA 06. It sucks, but sometimes the best passing plays are out of those type of formations or those type of play calls. So that's why I did it. it. Didn't work out that well. Let's move on. Reese on first and 10 and that pass is batted away and then intercepted by Harvey and he's doing the same dance as Jesse Graham and that was the first first down that LSU got but right after that they for we forced a turnover. So now Campbell rolling out. Campbell looking for Lewis but he turned upfield as that pass was thrown. Second down. Campbell on the design QB keeper gets away from one man and then gets brought down in the backfield. Second, third down, excuse me, we are two for six on third downs, dropping back the pass, looking for Spicer, who makes the catch in double coverage, let's go Fabian Spicer, he's been doing it since day one of this series, he's a senior now, so we know we have to get him to a bowl game, first and goal, Campbell, he's going to pitch this one to Chris Cooper, and Cooper, the true freshman, heads to the end zone, touchdown, S-A-U, and just like that, it is 10 to nothing, who saw this start coming? But we have to remember, this is LSU. They're not going to go away quietly. Reese, over the middle, trying to find his tight end. That pass hits the grass. Reese, firing. That pass is beautifully defended by Wilson. Get that thing about it here. Reese, to the outside, is going to be caught by Gibbs. But Gibbs, that's not going to give you a, third, a first down. So we take right back over. Chris Cooper finally gets something going on the ground. Nice run right there. Nine carries for only 22 on the ground so far. Chris Cooper, again, this time he gets stopped inches short of the first down marker. So now it's third and one. We give the ball to Richie Thompson using his speed. And look at Richie Thompson breaking tackles. That might be his first broken tackle of the series. Campbell looking. Campbell going to roll out. Campbell, he's going to stop popping. No, he's going to take it himself and pick up a gain of about four. So now it's second and six from the 32-yard line. Over the middle. And it's intercepted by Royal. And now LSU has a chance to get on the board with a minute 22 to go in the first half. Not the best decision going over the middle that time, but hey, the slant routes are, are our bread and butter. So Reese over the middle, Bracey like, no, nah, son, get that thing about it here. Second and 10 for the 26, Sean, they try to run the ball, knows to play fake. Reese over the middle, he's going to find his man, and that's going to result in a gain of about seven. So now it's third and three, LSU is 0 for 4 on third downs, and they put it on the turf and make that oh. For five, for 0 for 4, whatever it is, you know what it is. Anyways, man, LSU is down 10. We have the lead. Can we hold on to it? LSU starts off the second half with the football. Get, 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 get that thing about it. Is this quarterback really that good? I don't think so. But there goes Reed showing why he's the top Heisman hopeful. Gets this thing in the SAU territory, and that's going to result in a big first down ball. It's placed at the 42 yard line of the Bulls. Now he's going to drop back the pass, going to find Gibbs, and Gibbs going to work his way upfield for a nice game. Then on second down, he's going to find his man, the big tight end, and he's going to pick up the first down. And Andy Long appears to be hurt. We are already kind of thin at the lineman position. They give the ball to Reed, who wiggles through traffic, and this is the best opportunity so far in the whole ball game for LSU to finally get on the board. Third and five, nowhere. Britt Bracey, again, best linebacker in the game today. He sniffed that thing out, and we hold LSU to a field goal. So it's 10 to three. We have to score on this drive. We do not want to just go three and out. We don't want to give up a touchdown and be tied with LSU. We have to keep these guys on the rope. Second and eight. There goes Tony Campbell. And Campbell inside the 50. Down in LSU territory. He finally gets brought down at the 35-yard line. Big time play right there by Tony Campbell. He can use his arm. He can use his legs. And he's only a sophomore, ladies and gentlemen. Campbell looking. Campbell rolling out. Campbell, what are you doing? What is going on? Oh, my goodness. Loss of 26 on the play. 
I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Blame me. I, I, back to the action. Campbell looking. Fabian Spicer deep. He can't make the catch and double coverage, but hey, it is what it is. We are forced to punt. We got to rely on our defense once again. Reese over the middle. He's going to find his man low and low. He is down the left sideline. Picks up a big first down ball. He's up the 43 yard line. Up that guy with the fullback and Collins. He bounces to the outside. And he's going to get brought down by Jesse Graham. Second and five. There goes Reese. And Reese, he's going to pitch it late downfield. And look who's there to make the tackle. That could have been a touchdown. And Bracey's not there to get the stop. First and 10. He's going to pitch it. And guess who was there? Bracey forcing back inside. And then Harvey with a monster hit forces that ball loose. Loose LSU will recover the fumble. Look at that hit by number 18. Harvey is a flat out. I ain't talking about Harvey Dent from Batman. Anyways, Reese looking. Reese, he's going to take off and run. Guess who's there? Number 55 in the program. Number one in the heart. Best linebacker in the country. Reese looking. Going to fire this one to the outside. That's going to be caught by Morton. Could this be the drive where they tie everything up? Reed on the carry. Bracey there to bring him down. After a gain of only about four. So now second and six from the seven-yard line. They go with the eye formation. Two tight ends set to the right side. Reed up that guy and Reed. He's going to be stopped one yard short from the first down marker. So now it's third in inches from the one yard line. They can get in the end zone or they can pick up a first down. They do a play action pass. He's going to throw this one back across the body. But get, get, get that thing about here. And we hold them to a field goal. That is huge. That is huge. That's just huge. I'm, I'm, let's go. Campbell back around the outside. He's going to pick up a nice gain of about eight, maybe nine on that read option. Now they can go to Thompson and Richie Thompson. He's going to pick up the first down and much more gets brought down. Nice open field tackle by the safety. But he's going to pick up a first down nonetheless. Richie Thompson again fighting through traffic. Gets up to about the 40-yard line gain of about three on that run. Second and seven play action pass. Campbell looking. Campbell over the middle finds Gilmore and he's coming up. Clutch move those chains yet again. This passing game is working. The running game is kind of struggling. We are able to get some big plays to have to run the game, but the passing game has been the bread and butter. Chris Cooper up that guy. And Chris Cooper, he's going to pick up a nice game. Now it's time for that speed option. Tony Campbell pitches it to Cooper. And Cooper going to pick up the first down. Move those chains. And we are back inside the red zone. Richie Thompson trying to get around the outside. And he does just that. He's only able to pick up five. But it could have been a loss of about two. So second and five now. Campbell over the middle. Huge catch by Gilmore going up top of the defender like, uh. Give me that. Get Moss. First and goal. Campbell looking. Campbell, he going to do it himself. Take it using his legs. And he's going to pick up another touchdown for SAU, making it a 17-6 to six ball game. Back to a two-possession ball game in the fourth quarter. 4.30 to go in this one. Clutch moments happen from big players. Anyways, they're going to do the halfback pass. Look at Reese. He's showing why he's the impact player. And he's going to pick up a first down through the air. Now they're going to find a big uh, tight end, excuse me. And he's going to pick up a gain of about nine. So now second and inches. Reese rolling out. And he's going to connect the dots yet again. Move those chains. Can we get a stop? They give the ball to Reed who runs over Basie. But doesn't get too much after he runs over Basie. Now second and eight after the gain of two. Look at Reed. Look at his determination. Look at he knows that his season is slipping away. This supposed to be a national championship year. And look who's there. Bracey number 55 is there yet again. Drop back pass is Reese over the middle and give Bracey that yahoo. Zay. Her. I said give him that yahoo. Give Bracey that user interception. And we got this thing going back the other way. Huge play. Like I said, he's the best middle linebacker in the country. In the whole country. Cooper right there with a the stiff mic. Like, Get off me more. Anyways, he's going to give this thing right back to Cooper. And Cooper is like, it's time to feed the beast. It is time to milk this clock and get this W. But we give the ball to Richie Thompson. Huge block by Fabian Spicer. And then look at the spin move. Inside the 10 5 touchdown, Richie Thompson. That 92 speed is so lovely. But that block by Fabian Spicer was beautiful. Just Beauta put the corner on his back right there. Nice little spin move, and he was off to the races. So LSU down to the property, the last chance. Can they get some to go with a minute 25 to go? Bracey is there again, headed for six, and he's going to get into the end zone. Touchdown SAU, and can you say the biggest upset? Probably in college football history. We just beat the number 17 in the country. 
in the we beat LSU. Let's go. We ain't done. They put in the backup quarterback. That's right. They pull him. Look who's there. Bracey forces the fumble. Ten tackles, two INTs, a forced fumble, and a pick six. If there's another middle linebacker who's better, please tell me. Please tell me. He's a flat-out monster. We get win number two. Could this be the start of the biggest turnaround in football history? The biggest turnaround in college football history. We have Alabama next, and then down the road we have Texas. Could we turn this season around to maybe an eight-win, four-loss uh, season? Who knows? Next is Alabama, so you know that we are focused on Alabama. We're going to have to take them out. Let's check out some of the stats. Wasn't the best game offensively for any team. He only got 325 total yards. They got 248 total yards, but it was clearly a defensive slugfest throughout the whole game. In that fourth quarter and in the second half, we were able to open some things up. The running game started to pick it up a little bit. Campbell was still able to make plays, but that defense held LSU out of the end zone. That was huge, man. We shut down their running game. Reed, who's a Heisman hopeful, he didn't have too much on the ground, man. So big time game by our defense big time game all around and i hope you guys enjoyed the video as always i enjoyed bringing it to you hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day let me see y'all later peace